it's giving balls bitch hi friends welcome back to my channel i'm so glad you're here today we are going to be doing this look here This is the makeup that I wore to go out last weekend and I got a lot of comments on how nice it looked and you wanted to see how I did it. So this is pretty much what I did. I tried to recreate it as close as possible to that look, which is kind of easy for me because I don't do my makeup very different than this anyway, except I did my eyes and lashes. So let's get into it. It is Saturday afternoon and I was sitting here preparing to make god knows how many parts to a full face of makeup video for tiktok and i'm watching um it's unplugged full coverage podcast with uh manny mua and laura lee if you don't know who they are they're like two ogs in the youtube game um manny i'm more familiar with i kind of recently got into laura's content because of manny because they're so close and they do this podcast together so but uh personally i watched manny i've watched him since he came on youtube and i mean that's how i discovered him was youtube and literally this episode is called is tiktok taking over instagram so they're talking about how instagram is changing and yada 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 and they were basically now they both have well over a million subscribers on their youtube channels separately right and tiktok they also have millions of uh followers so both of them, as I would say, OGs in the you know content creation game, they're saying as if you are looking to be an influencer, you want to be a content creator to do all of the platforms, but focus on YouTube because YouTube is has stood the test of time, right? YouTube is before all of these other apps. So um, basically, they were saying like you know, do all of the things, do what you love, but. YouTube is where it's at, right? So I'm literally watching this as I'm preparing myself to film these TikToks. I was like, you know what? I scrapped the TikToks. I was like, I'm going to go to preview on TikTok and y'all going to come to my YouTube to watch this full face. So let's get into it. The look that we are creating today is the look from one of my get ready with me videos from last weekend. I will insert a picture of it here, video of the look. Normally I don't do my eyes, but I've been kind of stepping out and trying to do my eyes some more often. So I picked up this palette. Um, this is by Makeup Revolution London and it is Reloaded Neutrals 2. I got this at Target. These are like $6.99, $7.99. Really pretty. Very, I love a neutral, like I'm a neutral girl. That's just who I am. So that's the palette that I used. And then I also used some new products that I picked up. I finally got my hands on the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand, which I'm sure you've seen all over your TikToks and YouTubes and things, all of the girls use this. And what is the color? Oh, this is Fair Medium. And when I put this on my face, you're gonna be like, Fair Medium where? <laughs> So I also picked up this L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion. I used to use her. Like, I used to use this back in the day. They say this is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury, um, is it the Hollywood, whatever flawless finish I think it's called, but it's whatever her, whichever one is like not the full coverage one, it's like a lighter coverage and all the girls use it either as like a layer alone or they put it underneath their foundation to kind of step it up and give it a nice glow. So I, I like, I know her, so bomb. I can't wait to show you how that looks. Ashes, um, I'm wearing them now. This is the set from, these are from Sephora. Girl, these, I, I, I'm so sorry that I threw the box away, but I'm gonna go back to Sephora probably tomorrow. Look how pretty they look. Like I almost wanna go get a bunch of pairs and then I'm gonna like do them lash extension style, you know, like put them on and leave them on for like a week. <laughs> But anyway, this is the eye look that I created that night. Um, I haven't done eyeliner yet because I want to go ahead and do that with you guys on camera. So let's get into that. I'm going to zoom you in. I hope my lighting is good. It is daytime. The sun is out. Um, I do have my ring light on. So hopefully you guys can see pretty well. And this look is only going to require you to use three brushes well four if you want to count because i use my finger but you can use a brush so these are the brushes that i will be using to create this look 
These are from Ross. I got them in just like this random set that I picked up. And then this is a Real Techniques brush. We're gonna go into this palette and you wanna take your kind of rounded brush. If you can, I'll show you the difference. This one and then this one has like a little bit of an angle. So we're gonna start with this one first. And this is an eyeshadow technique that I learned when I was working for Morphe, one of my coworkers. Um, she showed me so this is like a smoky eye but you can when you learn when i show you the technique it works for like any color you don't have to do neutrals you don't have to do a smoky eye um it's just more of like the blending okay so we're gonna take this palette here and this is the color we're gonna start with so i'm going to take a few dabs i'm gonna coat my brush bristles in the color Okay, and then I have a mirror facing, obviously I'm facing a mirror. So what I like to do is kind of angle my head like upwards a little bit so that I'm like, I expose my crease because I have a hooded eye. I also have this weird, I don't know what this is. I'm, I need to find out what this little pocket of, and it doesn't like, it goes away throughout the day, but like, I don't know what that is. Or my skin and my face is just drooping. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have a hooded eye. So what that means is when I look at you, right, I'm looking at you directly. You can't see my crease. So, but if I tilt back and look down, crease there, you know? So you want to, because we're gonna put color in there, um, you know, I tilt my head back a little bit so that I can expose the crease. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take the color and I'm just gonna start tapping it kind of on the outer edge of my eye and then into the crease. So just follow along your crease and I'm tapping the product in. We're not blending, we're not, I'm barely even pushing it. Like I'm literally just tapping it onto my skin. And then I'm gonna flip the brush over cause there's more product on that other side. And then I go from here, like right where my lash line starts and I start to just bring it up just a little bit because what's gonna happen is I'm gonna want it to, see, like pull out. And then once I go in with concealer and cut it, that's gonna, you know, gonna lift the face. We wanna lift the face, honey. So yeah, just tap, tap, tap really lightly. You don't have to use a lot of pressure. And this is how you can get the shape that you like, outline that shit. Okay, and then I'm gonna start from the inner, I'm gonna start lightly blending it. Back and forth, circular. And I've primed my lids with P. Louise. Just go get her. Don't do concealer, honey. Concealer works, but I mean, for a beginner, if this is something you're not familiar with, get products that are gonna make it easier for you, that's gonna make you wanna keep going and not give up because you get frustrated, right? This P. Louise is uh, rumor number two. Go follow P. Louise on all of their social media accounts and just go see what this product is capable of. It makes, it makes your eyeshadow, like it makes you look like you know what you're doing and you don't have to really know what you're doing, so. <laughs> All right, so let's blend this. And sometimes I will kind of, you know, lightly just tug my eye a little bit to get that crease to really pop out so I can really get in there and blend. So I'm just going back and forth and then switching between circular motions really lightly. Okay, and then once you like the shape, Okay, then we're gonna keep this same brush. We're gonna go in with that color again. So put a little bit more on the brush. So basically what we're doing is we're building up this one color and as you layer it, it makes it look smoked out, right? Because you're adding a layer and then you add a layer and you add a layer, so. So we're gonna take the brush again and focus it in the same spots. So outer. Bring it into that crease. And now I'm gonna tap and swipe a little bit because I really wanna get the color deposited on there. I'm just kind of switching between tapping and swiping. A napkin and I'm wiping off the excess product that's left on my brush because I wanna kind of clean it off just a little bit so that I can go back in and start blending. So I'm just blending this very lightly. 
follow the shape of your eye or whatever shape you're trying to create on your eye. And it's gonna blend out beautifully. And that's one color. So look how smoky that looks with just one color, right? You could stop here. I've done this. This will, I'll do this, mascara, and I'm done. It does kind of give it that smoke gradient, right? This looks really pretty. Now we are going to take our angle brush. So that just has the slightest upward angle in the bristles. And we're gonna go in with this color here in the bottom row. It's like a dark brown. So I'm gonna tap my brush into the product maybe like three or four times and then tap off the excess on my napkin here. And now this angle, so like when I did this eye, I held the brush this way to follow upwards, right? So for this eye, I'm gonna hold the brush this way. Cause literally you can see it, it, it's gonna take, it's gonna do the work for you. You don't even have to guess where the product is gonna go because look at the angle. I tilt my head back a little bit, look straight ahead in the mirror, but tilt back. And then I'm just gonna stamp it just like this. I'm using very light pressure, but I'm not moving the brush out of this position because I want this to distribute the color in that shape, in that angle, in the corner of my eye, right? Bring it in just slightly, and I'm just stamping it into my skin, into my eye. Okay, you're going to go back, get that other brown brush, Start diffusing that edge. Okay. Just diffuse it. It's okay if it comes out because we're going to clean that up. So don't even stress yourself about that. This is called art, baby. Keep in mind that I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my shit. Okay? So that's what you want to kind of create is that darkness on the edge just there. And then I'm going to take this brush, lightly bring some of that product inward into the crease as well, just to give that, you know, that shape. Now I'm going to take my Real Techniques brush and this is, yeah, it is a deluxe crease brush. It says it on there. I don't know if you can see, but I think this brush is amazing. It just, it's a really, really well-made brush. So I'm just going to take this and this is just to buff everything kind of together. So just back and forth across your eyelid, blending those colors together, getting them shadows in there. And this will really pop once I get like my foundation and everything on. I know it's kind of hard to really see the true payoff but i hope you can figure out and understand the technique behind it um i hope it's helpful and you're you're learning something okay so you're you could be done at this point this is you know you could throw on a um a wing liner a lash and you would be popping right so i'm actually going to take and this is why i said you don't necessarily need three brushes because i'm going to use my finger but if you want you can use something like this just kind of flat um shader brush to pack on the product but I'm gonna take my finger and go in with this, this shade right here, this shimmery shade. So I'm just gonna put some right on my ring finger like that. I should have done this eye, but I'm gonna do it and turn my hand and make it harder for myself, right? And just place that right in like the inner corner. Like so. And it's just gonna give it a little bit of something something and then actually I'm gonna take this little shader brush and just perfect it make sure it's blended like so sorry if you hear my dryer in the background I have my freaking scarf that I lay my edges down it needed to be washed because it had crusty gel on it so I have that in the laundry with a couple other things I have my hair slicked up because I'm going to record the um, this unit that I got from Sensational, which I was going to put on TikTok, but uh -uh, I'm putting it on YouTube. Y'all just gonna have to come subscribe. Like, 
and the YouTube family knows like it's lit like when Lisa's consistent it's lit so just subscribe stop playing normally I would put my lashes on off camera but I'm gonna put them on for you hopefully they cooperate hopefully you can learn something if you struggle with lashes I struggle with lashes I've been doing makeup for 15 years I still struggle with lashes they're not the easiest thing to work with they are not it's it's hard to be that close to your eyes so do not beat yourself up over that it doesn't make you <laughs> any less of an artist if you struggle with lashes they're a pain in the ass like literally they're a pain in the ass so you got this what i have noticed that helped and i didn't discover these until i start until i started doing those individual lashes this style this tool um it's not a tweezer, it's it's for your lashes, but this makes it a lot easier for me personally to apply my lashes. So, let's get you zoomed in here a little. My first step for lashes is I always go in and curl. So we're gonna curl a few times. These lashes look so pretty. Like I'm sitting here looking at my other eye and they just like, it's so flattering. It's it's just a perfect lash for me. Like it, they work. And what's funny is the girl that, um, at Sephora that I, when I went to buy them, cause I was like, girl, I don't know if I'm getting all this stuff, right? Like I had a lot on the counter and she was like, okay, just let me know what you want, whatever. So we're like getting to the last few items and I'm like, mm. and she, when she picked up the lashes, she was like, oh, she was like, Do you, are you familiar with putting lashes on, blah, 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 And I was like, yeah, kind of. I was like, but I still struggle. She was like, these were really hard for me to put on. She's like, I'm just letting you know. Like, it's your decision, but I want to let you know. And I was like, you're a queen for keeping it real. But then her coworker was standing next to her. And she was like, what, those? No, I love those lashes. I have them on right now. And they looked so pretty on her. And she had a hooded eye like me. The other coworker sold me. But the girl that was ringing me up, she was like, oh, well, if you like them, she's like, it's worth a try. Like, they, they just were so cute. It was such a cute exchange. And I want to go back one day when I have them on and be like, girl, look at these. Like, I'm going to go back when I buy like 10 more pairs. So I've curled these. I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. This is my favorite because of this brush. And I have weird curly short lashes. So this brush just, I mean, it just, it gathers the girls. It collects them and it puts them where they need to be, you know? Like I can literally get every single stupid little baby lash that I have. Cause like literally I have lashes going all the way to my inner corner. Why? I don't know. I have lashes that grow right here in my inner corner. I cut them off. Don't be like me though. Don't touch your face with scissors. I get it all up in there. And for me personally, curling them first um, is just beneficial. It's just what I need to do. That is a game changer for me when it came to putting lashes on. That was one of the things that I learned that made it a lot easier for me was curling them first. Because you'll see all these videos and all these different ways of doing things and you know, you just have to figure out which one of those works for you. There's no right or wrong way to do them. If you gotta pull and tug on your eye to get the girl, put them lashes on. Let's take, I'm gonna take my little pinchy tool, whatever this thing is, and I'm gonna take the lash off. And I do like to, this is another thing that I suggest you do. Um, I will keep like a cotton swab or a paper towel or something with a little bit of micellar water on it, just to wipe this tool off, make sure there's not any excess glue. Um, you don't want your lash to stick to it. And you, you know, you wanna try to avoid, as, you know, do this with as little frustration as possible. <laughs> And when your lash sticks to the tool, that's annoying, right? So I'm gonna go in with my Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. Kiss, kiss, what's up? I've done the lashes, I've done the nails. Glue, what's up girl? <laughs> um, this is my favorite though, honestly, I buy this all the time and it works beautifully. So I like to put it first on the edges, the outer corners, whatever you call them, because I want that to start drying down first. And then I take the rest and put it in the middle. Oh my God, that was out of frame, sorry. Let this dry at least 45 seconds. That is, it's, it's gonna change your life. Do not take this and immediately start putting on, on your eye. Not only are you gonna fuck up your eyeshadow because this is wet, but it's not gonna stick and you're gonna get pissed and you're gonna be like, I suck. And you're gonna try to jump out your window because you're gonna think that you don't know what you're doing. 
let this dry, okay? Take a sip of coffee, go pee, whatever you need to do. Come back to this 45 seconds to a minute. Okay. So we are ready to put this lash on. I wanna show you how you can barely see the glue. That's because it's drying. It's gonna dry transparent. So if you see white, that means it's still a little wet. You might wanna wait a little bit longer, but I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna take a smaller mirror. So I have my mirror here facing me and I'm gonna take my smaller mirror and I'm gonna angle it down. So I'm looking down at my lashes. And we're gonna take this and just place it. See how it's, oh, oh my God. I thought it was gonna stick. And I was gonna be like, look at the devil showing up like he always does. Just try to place that. Again, my lashes are, are so annoying and I curled them so they're like really curly. So I just have to, little by little. I forget what she called this, like the band of this has a certain name or style, like thin or no band, I forget what she said. But she said that's why she struggled with them. All right, so the other lashes on. Let me show you a bit of a different angle. So pretty. We're gonna finish off our eyes really quick. I'm gonna take this LA Colors Auto Eyeliner and this is in black. And it's just one of these like push-up style so what i like to do is i kind of push down on my eyelid so that i can put this in my water line like that This just makes all the difference for me because it just blends everything like the lash to the lash band, you know what I mean? And it makes it... Okay. See how that just made like the slightest bit of difference? Okay, so what I'm doing now, I'm going to do just the smallest wing because I'm not very good at it and I just do it so that it enhances my, my face a little bit. So I like to just follow my lower lash line and I take the eyeliner and literally just bring it out. And don't worry if it looks fucked up because we're gonna go in and perfect it. But I just wanna get that line in there so I know where to, you know. You can't really see it too much, but work with me, girl. So I'm gonna take this little brush. This is from Dollar Tree or something. I got in like a little four pack, but this is good to like, you know, detail a brush to just have for like moments like this. So you see that little wing? I'm gonna like slightly tug on my eye like that and start to blend that up. Like just, you know, buff the product out like that. Cause I wanna create like a shadow of that liner. Take a little bit more. And then I'm gonna take the liner. So you see the line when I close my eye, I'm gonna place the liner from there all the way in. Just like that. See that? So you see how it kind of and then I'm gonna take this brush. Okay, so I just gave it the little slightest amount of smoke in the liner. So let's do the same thing on the other side.
little messy, that's okay. somewhere. I'm going to now take this Wet n Wild Break Up Proof Waterproof Liquid Liner. This is in Ultra Black. I always start by putting it on my hand first just so I know it's coming out. So I'm going to fill in this little corner right here and then I'm going to extend my wing. I'm not really going to put it too much on the actual lid. Um, just a little tiny bit just to kind of fill in the gaps between my lash line and the lashes but it's already dark there because we put the brown the the pencil liner in there first right so just in this corner here to kind of connect it see and then a little bit along the band so everything is cohesive I don't really want that line to like stand out you know and then I'm gonna take this and follow I'm gonna tug on my eye a little bit and follow that up I'm gonna stop right there because I don't want it to be super long and I'm gonna connect it And we are again. I'm gonna clean all that up in a minute. So it's gonna whoosh. Very subtle. Like, I don't, I can't do much more than that. <laughs> Let's do this other one. Look at my fingers. <laughs> my water just on a cotton pad. And I take it, I fold it in half like that. And then I fold it again. And I want to use this little corner right there. And I'm just gonna You could use a Q tip too, that would work. I have some, but I'm gonna use that for something else. You'll see. Do so you see how I clean that up? Come on! Take this, flip it over, other corner. that up and then I'm gonna take a q-tip and I'm gonna put some micellar water on that too and I have some liner down here that I want to get rid of because I don't want any darkness or anything on my lower lashes because I don't put shadow there all right so my face has been primed for all this time so it's ready for some makeup honey so the first thing I am going to do is I'm going to take this iconic London illuminator. So we're going for a super glowy, you know, tan, just soft, you know, skin like look. So I'm going to take this and it has a little dropper like that. It's probably empty because I've had this for so long. Come on, girl. All right. I'm going to put this down the center of my nose. This stuff spreads like really easily so you don't need a lot and even what i'm putting on is a lot but i'm gonna make it work like that a little bit on the chin and then you don't have to like this doesn't have to be perfect blend it out you just take whatever brush or you can use your beauty blender whatever and just kind of you know buff it in I like doing this as my first layer because it just adds this really subtle glow underneath everything. Like right now it looks like a lot because it's all I have on, but I'm gonna go in with, you know, two or three more layers on top of this and it's gonna look so pretty underneath. Some spaghetti last night, it came out so good. I'm like sitting here like, mm, I can't wait to have some for lunch. <laughs> I was trying to make a TikTok, a cooking video, but I realized that my last, I'm just going to take my beauty blender and just buff the edges of this out. I don't really need to do this, but um, yeah, I like recorded the whole thing. And then at the very end when like, you know, you do like the little, 
the little taste test part of it i was completely out of frame like <laughs> so i don't know i'm gonna see i mean i still you know obviously i have the footage of that so i don't know if i can see if i can like finesse it somehow and still use that but the spaghetti came out so good now that we have that highlighter on next we're gonna go in with so I'm just gonna take it right out of the tube and squeeze a little bit onto my skin like that. So just pat it in like you would your foundation. And if you want, I can do a look with just this um, because I am gonna go in with foundation on top of this. But if you want like a, you know, like the clean girl makeup, this would be perfect for that and I could definitely show you how to do that because like this with a little bit of concealer some blush girl you'll be looking real fire so I have a pump or two of foundation this is um Maybelline fit me matte and poreless this is this is my baby this is my OG she she works for me like literally I, I have no complaints this is in 228 soft tan I probably could go up because I'm tanner than I was when I bought this, but I'm going to make it work because I don't want to look too crazy dark anyway. And speaking of tanning, I think going forward now that I have this nice base, um, I'm going to stop, stop exposing my face to the sun and just use sunless tanner on my face um, because I feel like the sun is just not beneficial for me anymore at this point where I am as far as my age. It's like counteracting the efforts that I'm putting when it comes to my skincare. So I'm going to protect my face and, you know, cover it up and then just let my body tan and then use, you know, sunless tanner on my face. Because I would rather have nice, healthy, you know, non-damaged skin than be tan. Especially if I can just throw some sunless tanner on there and it's just as nice, you know? Because I got really dark these last few days and I mean, I love it, but you know, I'm 36, so I need to really be mindful about this skin. And I wasn't, you know, I've, I've not been mindful of it for a long time in my life. So my skin's pretty nice for someone who didn't take care of it for very long, but it could be better, you know? Like if I would have started this skincare stuff when I was, you know, 17, 18, as opposed to when I was, you know, past 30, pretty much when I became like consistent with it. And even that, like it's really been the last maybe two or three years that I've really stepped it up and been super, you know, involved in my skincare routine because I just was like, I don't like how my skin looks. And I've always gotten compliments on my skin. And I'm like, I guess it is a lot better than, it, you know, some people go through like I've never had acne or anything like that but like I deal with texture and lines and you know when I was younger and I was teaching myself how to do makeup um and I know I did it in this video too but it's like now I don't fucking care but um I tugged on my eyes hard like I would pull like you know and that is not good you will lose elasticity honey and I did down my neck what's left on my Blender and back here. Put them ears. <sighs> Forgot I have to do my edges. I have to do them now because if I don't do them now, I'm gonna get foundation. All, like it's gonna be a mess. So, brb. All right. So I just had some leftovers and I let my edges dry. Late. Okay. Next, I'm gonna go in with. Miss Charlotte here and I'm still like literally right now as I'm about to apply this I'm not sure if I'm gonna use my beauty blender or a brush I think I'm gonna use my beauty blender though so this you like twist it so it opens and then you just the product comes out start dabbing this see and that's fair medium <laughs> looks a little darker than medium to me but and then I'm gonna connect these because I think also like I didn't put enough because it is very wet <laughs> okay down my nose
chin. So I'm gonna start in the chin, or jawline, I guess, whatever. I'm just gonna blend lightly, like I don't even wanna move it too much, you know? Oh, it looks pretty, huh? I guess. I am going to go in with my Fenty cream stick. Um, this is, oh, matchstick is what they're called. This is a mocha. And I'm just gonna do this on my nose a little more just because I like my nose to look a certain way. And I've like finally figured out what that means for my face. And I like it to be like noticeable, but not. <laughs> Cause my nose is small, right? Like I have a tiny fucking nose. And what I realized is I'm actually gonna take this Real Techniques brush and I'm gonna clean it and use it to blend out this nose. Um, I used to do my makeup, you know, because back in the day we didn't contour, right? Like we did our makeup flat and like my nose would disappear. Like it just would be gone. So now I've learned how to make it stand out, you know? So like I said, I don't really worry too much about like keeping this separate. I'm going to go in with concealer and make it, give it that highlight. You'll see. My next step is going to be concealer so for this i use two colors these are both elf one of them is the 16 hour camo concealer matte and this is in the shade medium beige and then i'm gonna go on top of that with the hydrating camo concealer and this is in medium peach so this is gonna be not too bright this is more to kind of even me out and then this is going to be to brighten so as i take it out of off of the applicator and i like to put it on my hand just so i can warm it up a little bit with my finger and this color is like it has a more like peachy undertone it's not picking up that way on camera but that's why i like this one so I'm gonna take from right here and then take it with my beauty blender, swipe, put the product on there, and then just place it under the eye where I want to brighten. I have lots of lines under my eyes, so I don't concern myself too much with creasing at this point. Um, it's kind of inevitable for me so i just do makeup and enjoy the process and it comes out fire and if you can see all of that and you're offended by it you're way too close to me first of all and yeah look basically what i'm telling you is i stopped giving a fuck <laughs> i don't care until somebody's gonna give me a thousand dollars to go get filler I, I i have lines that actually blended out really nicely actually looks really good so now I'm gonna go in with the medium peach and this is gonna be my highlight so this one I'm just gonna take right off of the applicator because I don't need this to be warmed up or anything that's more for the first concealer and I'm gonna highlight a little bit under my eyes but I'm gonna do this first Okay, you see how that just highlighted? So then I'm gonna go back with this Real Techniques brush and a little more of the Fenty stick. And I'm just gonna really make that stand out because now that the concealer is there, I can kind of go over it with a little bit more of this and just buff it out so it's nice and defined. So I like to do my nose contour first, get that out of the way. So I'm actually going to start with this MAC Give Me Sun Mineralize Skin Finish Natural. This is what it looks like. And I'm gonna take one of the eyeshadow brushes that I was using and just brush off the product. Cause I don't have like a technical nose brush for this. So 
whatever you have will work that's you know small enough so I just dip it into the product tap off the excess and then we're gonna go right in place this right over top of the cream product that's there you can see the line so just place your product right on top of it and then I like to take my two ring fingers and just kind of puff it out so it looks good so I'm gonna take this give me sun on where's my brush this is a morphe brush this is the m405 so i just take and i swirl it around like that tap off the excess and then i just start to put this in where i want to get some sun starting to look like something with my Fenty um, Sunstalker. This is an Island Ting. Hit pan, baby. So I'm gonna take this little angle brush. This is from that set that I got from Ross and I'm gonna swirl it around in here a few times, tap off the excess and then just go all over where I put that other bronzer down, the MAC, give me sun. So this is just to just amplify our contour a little bit. I'm not like, cutting if that makes sense with the contour i'm going to cut with powder so i'm going to take my one size uh translucent powder and i'm going to take this little spongy thing or whatever this is up i don't know what these are called but i got it from cvs and then what i like to do is bend it in half and then i dip it into my translucent powder and i get it all over the front and the sides and then what you're going to do is you want to cut underneath your contour. I learned this from Makeup by Mario. He said to start your cut here because it's gonna, you know, like if you start it at your lip, you guarantee that you're not bringing it down. You're bringing it up because you start it from right here. So that's what we're gonna do. So if you see the contour, we're gonna follow this. So we want to connect it like that. Watch. She's lifted. I'm gonna take this, um, it. the brush that I used to set my under eye and just take this little bit off here. You don't really need it right there. Now, I am going to set my nose. So I'm putting a little more product in the lid and I'm taking that same sponge or whatever this is. And I'm gonna do it down the sides here like so. left in here I'm just gonna swirl around on this and I'm gonna put it here just so we can highlight there a little bit lift that up I'm gonna go in with this blush from Juvia's place rogue volume 2 this is what it looks like I've had this well over a year and I still have a touch pan like she's long-lasting I, this is the color. I don't really use this one. You can mix them. They do look pretty together, but I like this one here. So I'm going to take that on my Morphe M403. Tap it around on all the brush. I mean, all the bristles. Make sure it's nice and saturated with it. And then tap off your excess. Smile. And it's going to show you where to put the blush. Do you see where to put the blush? Oh, okay. Come on. There's our blush. She is on, looking so fly. The blush, I don't know, it just brings it together for me. And I put it fucking everywhere. Like, <laughs> some people only put it here. I don't, uh -uh. I don't put it everywhere. Now I'm gonna go and do my under eyes. Be an e.l.f. powder brush. <clears throat> I love this one, cause it, it like buffs. It just works really well. 
So I always buff that powder down. That. And then what I'm gonna do is just take this brush and make sure everything is nice and blended in together. I'm gonna go back with this Real Techniques brush, this setting brush, and I'm gonna wipe away this nose. Step is we're gonna highlight. So I'm gonna take my Fenty highlighter. This is the Kilowatt. I'm gonna take this little brush that I got in that little set that I said from Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna try to get in and take whatever's in here. We're in the center here. Top of the lip. And then I'm gonna lightly place this here. I don't like too much highlighter. I'm gonna take this flat shader brush and a blending brush and just blend that down a little bit. Okay. Yes. This you can do with any any liner. It doesn't have to be this particular one, but this is the step where I fill in my moles. So I have tons of moles on my face. I don't fill them all in, but the ones that stand out, I like to, you know, make them, I like to give them a little shine, a little spotlight time. So this is a Revlon Color Stay Skinny Liquid Liner, and it's not black. It's a brown. It actually has like a shimmer in it, but you can't see that. So I don't know if you can see them, but I have one there, one there. One of my nose. I have a a skin tag right here that I put, I make that into a mole. Then I have one here that I like to fill. And then there isn't really one here, but I make one just kind of like here under my contour. And then I also do my chin. All right, so I'm gonna zoom you in. Some girlies like to um, wipe off their makeup off of their lips. I do not. I like to use this as like a base, right? Okay, I do the Cupid's bow first. And then this is another technique that I learned at Morphe. You start your line down and bring it up. I know you see that highlighter. I know you see it. See that? So you want to try to bring it into the corner as far as you can. All right, and then you can at this point, you know, if you want to, you can take a Q-tip dry and just clean everything up. Make sure it's nice and sharp. So next I'm going to take Yash by MAC, which is like one, my favorite color. It's just a pinky nude. I'm going to fill in everywhere, your whole lip. Let's fill it in, honey. Now I'm going to take Cold Brew by NYX. Just a little. So I'm gonna take the NYX Lip Lingerie. This is in Baby Doll. This is a matte. I'm gonna go over this like this. All right, last step is I'm going to set my face with the One Size Until Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. Let's go find the sun so we can see what this looks like. Alright friends, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you watched the whole thing and picked up some tips and tricks that you can implement into your full face routine. 
Let me know what your favorite step is in the comments. Do you like doing your face, you know, your, your base, your foundation? Do you like doing your brows, lashes, lips? I said that every step is my favorite. Every time I got to, I'm like, this is my favorite step. But really, probably I would say blush and lips are my favorite. So let me know in the comments below what's your favorite out of your whole makeup routine. So this is it came out really nice. I'm so excited to be back on YouTube and giving you guys longer content. The TikToks and the Reels, those are cute, but I feel like I was doing a lot, like when it comes to editing and for a three minute video, minute video, that's, that's a lot. So I'm like, the girl is just gonna have to come to YouTube. We have a great rest of your Saturday. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.